naast mij te gast in de studio niemand minder dan Robbie Williams. Yeah! Nou, geef hem maar even applaus hoor. Want... No, I never have an audience and you sit here and I have an audience. So I'm just my water. Oh, it doesn't matter. Hello, audience. <laughs> Good luck. You too. No, I used to be in take that. But you two's a great band too. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think about you two? Uh, very good. Very talented young men. They've got a lot of future in this um, this industry. So what do you think about the new album, Pop? You two? Uh, it's, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Better yeah. than the rest? Better than the other albums. Yeah. Um, I haven't given it enough time to listen to it, actually. Mm. But I do like it. I think it's very sexy. Like it a is. good self. You're very oh. sexy. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, you're back in Holland. What do you think? Um, it's raining all day. It's quite miserable, actually. Yeah. I don't like to come to places and and because I like to get the best p view of places that I can. But uh, I do. I, I always like coming here anyway. So, what have you seen uh, uh, here in Holland that you really like? Um, well, it's, well, you, well you, 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 except me, of course. You Dutch crazy Bridget people. <laughs> You're all crazy people. We're um, crazy people. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, uh, um, I like I like this place because it's very liberal, liberated, mm -hmm. and. Um, and also, you, you do, you, you've got some great coffee at the coffee shop, too. Yeah? Yeah. The the coffee, we call it the coffee run. You love, oh, you love me already, yeah. but you just knew. I know, um, but uh, it's, we it's, just it's, met. we just met, but I know. You know, you know when you know? You know when you know? You know when you know, oh my God. Okay, okay. let's talk. I mean, the fans uh, over there are so jealous. Right. Right now. Over there. So, yeah, I mean, and over there, of course. So, you have done so many, oh, by, by the way, I mean, you're talking with me now, but yeah, if you I want know. to talk with them, you can. I know, no, no, no. Okay. Quite, quite I mean, easy. there is something between us, so well, stay we've tuned. Got, we've got something between <laughs> us. It's two yeah. CD, three CDs. Yeah, I'm going to talk about these CDs okay. later on. No, but have you seen all the girls outside? Yes, I have. How do they make you feel? Very well. I couldn't walk through the door. My head was that big. Yeah, right. I know, I couldn't. With all the brains, of course, in it. No, 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 no. With, no, with just my, my, my big headedness. No, it was good because I went out and um, it's very good for your confidence. Mm -hmm. It flatters you. It flatters me. So, how were the two last two years for you as Robbie Williams? Uh, the last two years are very, they were, um, they're very long. Very long. long and laborious, yes. That'll be the phone. No, that's the fax, actually. Is it? They can fax right away. I mean, this is a live show, so... Is this faxing to me? Yeah, okay, but it's directly. Well, you can see what they are so writing. Right. Maybe it's for you. It is for you. Oh, it's Brian's poetry. It is? Oh, dear. Brian, you're a very naughty boy. What is he writing? He, well, he's got words like... Tits. Ass. Ass. Shit. Oh. Sex, sex. So do you use these... Brian, Brian, you, 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 you mustn't go out in public. <laughs> I, I'm sure, I think I've seen you, you're wearing a Mac. People grow up to, people grow up to do naughty things when they Oh, grow. look at that side. No, but do you, do you use those words often in your spare time when you're not doing an interview? Well, some, sometimes. <laughs> I think... Uh, sometimes, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I can't understand any of this. It's all in Dutch, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so somebody fax to me, somebody fax to me right now and like, like, really send like, in English. Okay, understand. can you do the number for me then? The yeah. number is, where is it, where is it? It's, it's on the top of the, is this, is this it? No, that's the number of his. Right. Oh, she loves you. Well, we're gonna do, the number is, it's in... Uh, the number is 0356996655. That's 0356996655. Robbie, let me ask you, you've had so many interviews and so many Boring but never one, never, never one like this, though. No, but everything is possible here. But I like to know where. What have you never talked about um, in an interview? Um, about what have you never talked about? Oh, I, I think I think we've covered everything. Everything that that I could completely talk so about. So everybody knows all oh, your fans and 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 the, and the audience knows everything about you. Well, well, yes. It's, fri so, it's frightening, actually, yeah. because somebody came up to... I was having a coffee with my friend in London the other day, and uh, this girl came up to me, she said, Who... Come in, nurse, he's out of bed again. <laughs> Get the doctor, bring the syringe. Time down. Um, oh, what was I say? Oh, yeah, so a girl came up to me the other day, and she, she said, um, Who are you with? And I said, I'm, I'm with my friend, and she went, What, Richard and Peter? Come in. And Richard and Peter are friends of mine from like school that I haven't mentioned in an interview for six years. So that was pretty scary that mm -hmm. this girl knew that I've got a friend called 
Like that. Yeah. So, uh, wouldn't you be um, rather uh, a stand-up comedian? Pardon? Instead of a stand-up comedian, instead of an artist making uh, music? No. I mean, you're. I'm a funny, a, gay, funny gay. a funny guy. A funny guy. A funny gay or a funny guy? Hey, I'm a funny gay guy. <laughs> with with straight tendencies. Yes. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm a straight or gay. This mm -hmm. is a question I'm asking in yeah. my song. Yeah, that's Are true. you straight or gay? I'm totally straight. Are you? Yeah. Oh. And you? Well, who knows? Who knows? Now, is it important? Uh, is it? No, it's not important. It isn't important. But it's important enough for you to mention it in a song, because a lot of you. Well, it's, it, it, is, impo it is important because um, when I was growing up, I did I did like question my sexuality, mm -hmm. and I think everybody, people, everybody does, and I think uh, um, you can be. Will you shut up? It's For a, God's it's sake! It's I'm trying to talk here about sexuality, <laughs> and there's a dustbin going. Nah, it's nah. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I turn it right, off. Right back to the question. Yeah. It is important because that, that's the reason why I put it in the song. And I, I'm a straight or gay, is because people growing up question their own sexuality and then become disturbed with themselves because they're even questioning it. And what I'm saying is, it's okay. Are you disturbed in any way? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Okay. Stay here. Um, I mean, we're going to talk about the song later on. I, First, I'll show you my abscess later. Oh, that's okay. I like okay. to see that mob. Um, we're going to take a look at the day top five. Every day we have a day top five. Day top it's the five most requested songs. And we're going to take a look at how it is right now. Rum VT. Yeah. Oh, you did that. Can I do it. this? Yes, of course. Okay. At uh, number five, we have Mama with Spice Girls, the little lovely Spice Girls. At number four, we have Hedonism, Skunk and Nancy. At number three, Hard to say I am, uh, hard to say I'm, dot dot, as yet. I'm sorry. No, no, I, let, let me finish. Okay. Number two, Just a Girl by No Doubt, and at number one, has it been number one before? Mm hmm. Uh, number one again is the fantastic <laughs> Republica with Ready to Go. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. You can come and work here. Yes, I, you think like I can. It? Yes, I'd love to, especially if you're with me. Okay. You like me, he likes yes, me. Yes, I do. God, I don't know if I'm happy with that. Well, okay, anyway, um, we're going to talk with you later on. What was it what I wanted to say? Oh, yeah, which one did you like the most? Uh, which one? Which video? Republica, ready Republica. to go. Okay. Oh, he likes Republica. Blijf hier, hij zit hier voorlopig nog eventjes. Ga niet weg, we gaan door met muziek, maar we zijn zo weer terug met Robbie Williams. I think and tearing up my heart. Robbie Williams will say it's the host in the studio. What do you think of all these new boy bands that just started? Um, I mean, I you've been them, there. Yeah, no, I wish them, <laughs> wish them good luck. Um, they're not my cup of tea, but... Mm -hmm. No, I, they're I think, not... I, I think that if, if somebody's... I think if they're bringing happiness in any way to anybody, then they're doing the job, so I wish them all the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope they see it. Okay, um, I don't, I just want to talk about, where's the single? Oh, here's the single. The single, Robbie Williams, All Before I Die. Um, in one sentence you say, what, let me see. You talk about a she. She. She, yeah. In the first uh, verse, I can imagine what you're, what you're singing of. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the second, I wonder, oh, is there really a she? What are you singing about? Um, I can't tell you what it is, really. No? It's a secret. It's, it is? Yes, it is. So you do have something you never talk about in interviews. Well, <laughs> yeah, I do, I do, but I can't, I can't tell it on daytime television. <laughs> well, no, actually well, not. We can wait, it's we can wait for six o'clock. Yeah. So, um, okay, so the this, uh, this she is a secret. Do you have many secrets? I don't know. I don't know. I, have to, I don't think so. I, I think I'm one of the most honest people ever in interviews. I'm too honest sometimes, so I tell everybody everything. Mm -hmm. And I wish I didn't. But, mm -hmm. um, so there's another line you say, um, I hope I live to relive the days gone by. If there's one day you could relive, which one would that be? Oh. It could be a nice one, or one that you would really change. Well, my football team. Port Vale, mm -hmm. beat Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup, 2-1. Yeah. I'd really like to relive that day again. What, what how does, how the, does that make you feel? I mean, Flush. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. We beat, we, we were in like the fourth division, they were first division, and we beat them and it made me very happy. Well, the first and the fourth division, I don't know about that, but uh, I can imagine the feeling because, you know. Well, you're an Ajax fan, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. So, do you like Ajax? I do actually, they're very good. They've got a very good youth policy. 
They do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we shan't talk about that right now. Well, I have I have some questions here from um, a few girls outside, and one of them is. Uh, if the people of your favorite uh, football team, Portville, would ask you if you could work with them, you know, play with them full time, would you do it? No, 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 I wouldn't. I used to though. I used to play for them yeah. when I was a kid. I used to play for their youth side. Um, but um, could you kiss my arm again? <laughs> okay, thank you. So we can go on again. Yeah, we, can, we can go on now. <laughs> um, yeah, I um, I did used to play for Port Vale, mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I don't. They couldn't afford me now. Oh, uh, my God. But I do it for love. You do. I do it for love. So, uh, what do you want to prove with this song, or what do you want to say with this song, or what, how does this song make you feel? Uh, I just want um, people to relate to it in any way they can, and um, hopefully I, I want it to be good enough so they'll listen to my next song. Mm -hmm. So your next song is? It's called Lazy Days, and it's about um, being young and invincible. Mm -hmm. And don't let people get you down, because you're you're born to win. It's all, all that sort of message. You wrote it yourself, the yes. song. Yes. Yeah. But we're still with this song. We're still with that one. With this, yeah. Okay. We're still we're jumping the gun here. So do you, do you feel like you have to? Um, are you building up a new a new audience right now? No, not a new audience. I've just got to re-educate people in in how I am really. Mm -hmm. um, but my my album is self-explanatory when it comes to changing people's opinions about me. Yeah. And I just can't wait for that to come out. I really want it to come out like yesterday. Yeah. Well, it's coming out in October somewhere. So uh, w what's the album going to be like? I mean, how dirty do you want to describe it? Dirty pop. Dirty pop. Dirty pop in the words, you mean? Or dirty pop like I th Bowie? I, well, yeah, dirty pop like Bowie. Mm -hmm. I hope so. It's got a load of sensuality in it. Uh, what is it in him that you admire so much? Um, it's just a major talent. He's got a great voice when he sings, baby, mm. belly, <laughs> won't you stay in my lover's story? Uh, and um, I like his lyrics, mm -hmm. and I like his so songs. So what have you learned from his lyrics? Uh, well, you, you listen to all the albums, I mean, you listen to them to they great. So... Uh, uh, well, I think, I think there's, um, there's a, a great message to young people in David Bowie's lyrics. And that's what I want to get across in my lyrics as well. That um, if you're having a bad time, it's not going to last forever. Uh, and don't let them get you down. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So you want. Um, no, that's a stupid question. I don't going to go into it. Don't okay. go there, girl. No, I'm not going there. So um, now you've made this song and you made this album and you want to, you know. It, Prove yourself and, and, and live a better life and etc. etc. Um, so what's it going to be with your your biggest hobby? Going out, partying, having fun, go eat good food, nah, Japanese food. Japanese food. <laughs> mm. um, I'm going to stay in a lot now. I, yeah? I did a year of going out. I'm going to do a year of staying in. Just going to bed. I know it sounds really? I know it sounds boring, but I've got an excellent. Do you play backgammon? Have you played yeah, backgammon? Yeah. We should get together and play backgammon because okay. that's what I'm into now. Well, you're going to beat me for sure because I'm really bad in that. Yeah, well, game, well, well, well you... we can go card racing we can because go... I'm better in card racing yes, than backgammon. Yes, yes. I think it's because you're light, you see. You can go round quicker. <laughs> no, it's the technique. Is it's it the technique? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's the technique. all about the technique, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Now you have it. Okay, we're going to take a look, of course, at Size video. doesn't matter. It's all about the technique. Um, yeah, you can learn something about this. Okay, um, we're going to take a look at your video. Yes, please do. Are you, are you are you happy with the video like it is right now? Um, yeah, I am. Yeah, it's 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 quite good. I, I, the... I, I suppose when you when you when you first see your videos, you're never happy with them. Or when you write songs, you're never happy with them. But it's about a year down the line where you go, that's a good video. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good video. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're you're, you're just me. biased. But the technique you use is a bit like uh, the video of the Rolling Stones. Do you think? Yeah. You're happy. Mi Mi oh, okay. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. Could cool. you do another imitation of someone? Um, someone we know in Holland. So, uh, well, I've got this. I've got this fella that I'm, I'm, I'm making up for myself, and he's called um, Torsten Inquest, and he's presenting a show just like the one that we are having here, and it's called Scandy Pop. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is somebody that I'm going to be writing a sitcom, a situation comedy mm -hmm. for back in England. Do you like, do you like Maxin? Yeah, I, I hear it. I was wondering if you'd 
uh, imitating him right now. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was imitating him okay, right okay, now. Okay, okay. No, yes, well, I, I can expect anything from you. I mean, I don't know. Can I, can I, introduce, you... can I introduce my video as of Torsten course, and Chris? Of course, okay. of course. But would you do a comedy sort of thing here for my show? What can I, I was, what, 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 what can I do? I can do I don't know. I don't know. Be funny. Be funny. I can't do that. I'll, but I'll introduce my no, song. It doesn't have to be right now. I don't know. I mean, oh, well, I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Okay. okay. Well, introduce yourself. Okay. So, uh, my name is um, Robbie Williams, and I am here introducing uh, my own song. It is um, a song um, about being old and whilst you're dying also being young maybe i'm not saying um but for now we should check out the video and it's great you will uh, you will agree and um robbie williams and old before i am die dead girls and mama so robbie williams what about your mama um she's fantastic she is yes um, I, I really miss her you do. Mm, yeah, I, I moved home last year for a while. Mm -hmm. I think I might move home again actually. That's good. Yes. Huh? Making nice food. And You're making nice food, and in the morning machine. you wake up and all your ironing's done. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Ironing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, every I think everybody thinks that in England the the artists kn know all each other. It, so do you know the Oh people? yes, it's one happy pop community. Yeah. It yes. seems like we, all we all live in a commune. We all live in a commune and make right. rice. <laughs> so very do you know badly. The Spice Girls? Yes, I do actually. So what are they like? Not biblically, yet. Mm. But I do know them. Yes. Mm. And they're very they're very sweet. They're very, very nice. And um, I, th I I know it sounds like a corny phrase, but it couldn't happen to nicer people. Mm -hmm. They're good people. So are you sometimes or or, or Maybe not, but are you insecure of something? Me? Yeah. What do you think? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, of course I am. I'm, uh, I'm set. What? I'm a, I'm a sensitive kind of guy. I'm a man for the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite sensitive. When? Uh, I don't know. Most times. Most times I'm oversensitive. I'm oversensitive and I shouldn't be. So I should learn to be a little bit harder. For who? For yourself, of Just course. for myself. Uh, we've got a cameraman in the corner there turning the fax machine off. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the fax... The, the you paper, did that very well. The, the paper is... Yeah. Uh, we're through. Okay, um, there's, here's another question from the fans outside, and I like that question, actually, because they're saying, if we, and they call the, themselves the Rock Fan Club... That's very sweet of them. ...would challenge you to show your tattoo, would you do it? Well, it doesn't take me much, really. What are they doing before it? I mean... What? what are they doing for it? Yeah, there it is! <laughs> okay. I got a boil on my bum. Yeah, there's it, another Epsis too. There's another, look, look, there's Star Products, Versace. Very, well, very we, nice. Yeah, but we don't know it here in Holland, so that's okay. So there's another... Bit of product placement there. So I keep them down or should I keep them on? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are crazy. She'd come with me all over the place. We'd, we'd have a blast. I have a, a poem here from a... Maybe you could read it. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's about you. Um, dear Rob, I'm a big fan of yours, and that's why I wrote this poem for you. This is a bit hardcore. It says, stop haunting me and following every footstep that I make. Stop staring deep into my eyes every corner that I take. Stop haunting me with that face every day and night. I can press my lips upon your face but cannot hold you tight. Stop haunting me. You're following my eyes everywhere you go. Sometimes you've been above my bed and now you must go below. Whoa, my own. <laughs> Please haunt me now in person. Into your arms I'd fall because it's hard for me to get close to your poster on my wall. Ooh. That's really nice, actually. Yeah. That's really sweet. Well, you do get a lot of these things. And do you like it? This is a big hug from Cynthia... Which writers? Uh, writers. Writers. <laughs> so thank you very much. It's, it's okay, very you nice. can keep it. You can keep it. There's another uh, present I want to give you before uh, we're going to give your CD to, to people at home. Uh, one of the girls over there sent me in the first place. She sent me this one. This is a very nice glasses. You just look good in anything, really, don't you? Yeah. You could wear a bin bag and it'd suit you. They always say that to me. Let's try. Okay, Let's try. Well, actually, well, I said with zips, just here. <laughs> I said, well, actually, I have to give it to Robbie. Okay. Now, wait, 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 wait. Then she, see, she's right here, over there. Um, 
She gave me this one today. So we're going to have both. Okay. One. And then we, now, can, we can conduct a sensible conversation yeah, about exactly. European policy and unification. So which one do you like? I mean, do you want to have... I prefer, I, I prefer black. But me too. Yeah, I know, but hey, let's not fight here. We're I'm the guest, fight. for God's sake. Okay, well, Let, we're going uh, to talk about that later. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but, but you think... No, no. Try it on. Give me! <laughs> Try it on. Okay. So that one Elton John hasn't got. And now, the news. <laughs> news just in from Amsterdam. I has been writing in the street, but it's okay now. Everybody's fine. Thank you, good evening. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So the new album, the show off, must go on. Why that title? Well, I don't know, really. I've got a clue. Uh, I mean, uh, I, uh, it was a song title that was named for me. People call me show off, but I can't see it myself. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Um, I can't possibly see why anybody would think that I was a show-off. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I, know, I think it's better. Um, yeah, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an entertainer, and I like entertaining. Mm -hmm. And because um, I've been out of the spotlight now for a good nearly two years, and um, it's just the show-off must go on. I must go on stage and perform. What do you think? Yeah. Yes. So, you, you're good for ego, actually. You're very good for ego. I could have you at all times. Do I look good in this? Yes, yes, yes. So what should I eat? Oh, anything you like. Hello, Hi. I'm here. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Everybody wants to know, of course, right now, are you going to perform here? Am I going to perform here? Yeah. Oh, this okay. year? Are you going to give some concerts here? Yes. Yes. Well, I think so. Am I going to perform <laughs> Is he? Yes, we're getting a nod from the side. In the end of the year. News the just in. News, news breaking in Europe. Oh, I should have given you. No, you should give them me now. He said, "Wait, can we come? Can we can conduct a sensible conversation like this." Okay. You're wearing that top. Oh, ay ay ay. Okay. Well, let's give away the singles. Yes. Well, let's not give them away. Let's form a competition. Okay, that's oh, a good idea. Do you reckon? Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay, and have we got an address? We have. And, and, and the competition question is, is? Um, my name is Robert Williams. What is the <laughs> bit in my name? And you can't shout, no, 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 don't shout. Don't shout, that wouldn't be fair. Okay, as you just the answer to weet, what is the tweede name from Robbie Williams? Tweede naam. Tweede. No, oh, that's middle name. Yeah, tweede. Nee, tweede. 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 Yes. Tweede. Okay. Yes. Stuur dan zo snel mogelijk je antwoord op een briefkaart naar Postbus 999 1400 AZ in Bussum. You do it right now. Okay, the music factory, the, the, the address to send your competition answers in to is the music factory, Bus Bus 999 1400 AZ Bussum, which is spelled B U. S S U M. We're, we're in England, we have uh, we have bosoms as well. Yeah, here in Holland. Very very big bosoms. <laughs> I think you know what I'm saying. Okay, dus nogmaals, als jij weet wat zijn. Uh, Swiftly moving names, on. Dan weet je wat je te doen staat. Okay, let me ask you one question before we close this interview <laughs> and let you. Sorry. And, and get you stop with this and put me back into my straight jacket. Yeah. Okay. Are you happy? I'm happy now I've met you. Uh, that's not my question. That's my answer. Oh. Hey, stick with me. I'll teach you a few tricks. Okay. Well, no, I'm not you. I'm just. I'm just oh. This is this is, <laughs> uh, this is this is this is my guide to chatting up people. Okay. Yeah. No, it's no, really no. I am. Really I am. I'm a, I'm a lot happier. I'm a lot happier, and I'm getting. I'm getting there. You're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was very happy to have you here. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Robbie Williams, the guest in the studio, give him a round of applause.